What's going on guys? I have had the most effed up Monday. Like, you know, when people talk about Mondays and I'm all like positive, I'm, I'm a business owner, I'm an entrepreneur, so I'm all about Mondays are positive. Today's been random as... So, I literally, I've been getting this text on my phone for ages telling me I've got a package coming from Canada. And I'm like, I haven't ordered anything, what is it? But like that's not unusual, like because I do influencing online and for Instagram, I, I often get sent stuff that I might not have known about or it was done ages ago. So I thought, okay, cool. And today it said it got delivered. So I'm, I didn't get delivered, it didn't come to my house. And I was like, okay, maybe it's at my family home. Went there, it's not there. So I'm chasing my backside for a parcel that weren't there. Like it actually wasn't for me. So I don't know how they've got my phone number. But not only have they got my phone number, it was delivered to somebody like two streets away from me. So how do you magically put in, like imagine they put in one wrong digit. How have they done that, but managed to get, still it's like, they're, they're like a neighbor of mine. It makes no sense. Anyway, then, so obviously before that I had my PT counsel. So Gabs is busy today. She's obviously got lots of clients and a lot of stuff on, which I thank her and I respect her for her time because everything she's doing for me is out of the goodness of her heart. I'm helping her with some of her um, business consulting and I'm helping her with her social media. That's obviously what I do. And as a result, she's obviously helping me out as a value exchange with the personal training sessions. But like, I've ended up getting nothing, or like, I feel like I've got nothing done today. Like, I'm editing the film for tomorrow. It's like 10 to 6. It's got to be out at 6. That's frustrating. Um, so, like, and now I'm just trying to get loads of work done. Because one of the big parts of me doing a water fast, like I say to you guys, when you're doing a water fast, you're going to have loads of energy. So plan stuff to do. So I've got, like, some online courses that I want to get done. So I've got those ready to go. I've got, like, editing to do. I've got, like, I've got vlogs coming up that I pr filmed prior to even starting the fast. They're due to just, like, be edited and go out. So I've got loads of stuff that I can be doing. But everything's just kind of gone wrong today. So, yeah, I don't think today's vlog is going to be interesting or much good unless you want to sit and watch me kind of do my business stuff, which I, I guess you don't because I've asked you in the past, do you want to see it? Tell me in the comments and no one has. So I guess it's pretty boring. Um, but yeah, like updates for today. Let's just go with a positive. The updates for today. So I've lost another two pounds i lost two point i lost 2.2 pounds today that was that was a positive so i'm now in the 15s which is where like i say i want to be but when i finished my other fast i've been in the 15 so i was bottom end of 15 stone before um so my plan for this fast so if i do another week and i lose a stone again for this week that takes me down to top of 14 stone then my third week will take me to the top of 13 stone. So if I push a couple more days, it's to be around 13 and a half stone. So 13 and a half stone, which is where I'm supposed to be for my size, for my height, six foot two. Um, if I can get down to that, I'll naturally put on a stone anyway through eating, just through the refeed process. Plus it'll be my birthday, so it's going to be a bit hectic for that first few days. Um... So that, I'm, that takes me up to 14 and a half stone. I'm, I'm not going to be mad at being at 14 and a half stone. But I suppose the plan after that is, once I hit 14 and a half stone, I'm going to probably do like another couple of... I'm going to obviously have a bit of a crazy weekend because my birthday's on a, basic, on a bank holiday weekend. I'm probably going to be eating loads of food. I don't know what Jay's got planned for me. Um, I'll be doing that probably just after the bank holiday. I might fast one or two days to just try and balance out all of the... Um, fats and alcohols in my body <laughs> but then after that um it's all about turning what other what else what other kind of fat i've got on me into muscle so we can start getting some of this fitness stuff going but um yeah that's the update for my weight and then off the back of that let's just give you an update on how i'm feeling um i'm not the most energetic it's weird like i kind of feel like Meh. but if i want to have energy then i'm like boom i'm, I'm good to go but then if I'm doing nothing, I'm just like, Meh. so I'm up and down. Um, 
I'm watching lots and lots of food YouTube, um, which is just normal. Which is, just, but I'm craving different things now. Like I really fancy some grenade protein bars, and the problem is, grenade gave me some protein bars before I started my fast because I was telling them about the concept, and they was like, "Look, we want to help you out. We'll give you um, some protein bars, and let's discuss something in the future." So I'd love to get some kind of partnership with them. But yeah, like, I've got some great protein bars with them, and I'm just like, oh, like you know. Oh, that'd be pretty cool to have but yeah like i've been just watching so much online content of food that i want more things going on the bucket list for when i break my fast um but yeah like i'm not sure what we're gonna really do today in today's vlog like i'll be updating you let me just give you this update for now um and then it turns out the gym raging because gabs is busy this week wednesday i'm seeing her and I think that's it. So tomorrow I'm gonna have to like just do a walk and maybe do a workout myself. And I think the same again for Thursday or Friday. And then it's Easter weekend, which means like all I obviously can see online at the moment is chocolate, 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 like cakes. Luckily, I don't have a sweet tooth, so I'm not really like if it was like steak, 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 burger, 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 like it was a burger holiday, then yeah, I'd be happy. Or if it's steak or chicken wings, or oh, chicken wings, steak, like they're my things. Loaded fries, maybe. Um, I'm not really bang on the carbs. I'm not really on the chocolate and stuff like that. I like, I like if I have a massive meal to so just get some like have something sweet at the end, like maybe have like a bit of chocolate or something like that or a biscuit. But yeah, Easter's coming up, which obviously might be tempting i don't know but yeah like today's just been a crazy day so i'm sorry guys i don't want to have give you boring content but again let me know what you want to see from the vlogs moving forward i'll update you later obviously as i do just before i go to bed i'll give you an update because that's when my next cycle has finished um but i'm already thinking about what soup i'm going to get to break my fast and i'm like two weeks away from that point but yeah i'm already thinking of what soup i can get do any of you recommend a particular soup um, or something that you break your fast with. I know a lot of people broke it with um, bone marrow broths and stuff like that. I just want a nice soup that has lots of flavour. Anyway, I'll stop rambling. Thanks River for that. I'll stop rambling and I will check in again with you later. But hopefully everything's uploaded and we're good to go. Catch you soon. Guys, look, I just want to check in. It is currently quarter to 10, so I've reached like my next window of days. I am 192 and a half hours into my current fast. And I just want to say like, I'm like every night or well throughout the day, I'll always just um, take some time to check in on like everybody in the fasting group and everybody in the um, obviously everyone commenting on youtube so i just want to say like i'm really thankful for some of the words that you guys are saying i really thank you for your comments and i think with regards to the water fasting group like it's really important that we do like club together and just like support each other give each other some accountability make sure that like if you made that conscious decision to sign up to the group or just like ask to be part of the group, you've made it because you want to make a change. And I know that when you start the fasting process, you then like you, you have second thoughts. It's just natural. Like same as like when you go on like a scary ride, when you're at the bottom of it and you're in the queue, you're like, oh yeah, I can't wait to go on that. I can't wait to smash that ride. And then maybe when you're strapped in and it starts to move, you're like, oh sheesh what did i sign up for so i understand like water fasting is very similar that's why i'll use that as an analogy but like you're on a roller coaster you're strapped in just go with it go with it there's going to be ups and downs yeah i like that actually yeah there are going to be ups and downs and um you've just got to kind of roll with it like if you've set yourself 21 days or 25 days or 14 days and you only halfway through it and you're like okay i've done enough now like you've got to understand like you've got to re you know you've got to, your your body's gonna to have to take on a feeding process you're gonna naturally put some weight on you'll naturally adapt to stuff so like 
think about what your end goal is. Don't think about, okay, I'm here now, so that's fine. Like, just think about what the long-term effects are and what the long-term, like, what your long-term goals are. I think that's the, the best thing for me. So I'm really enjoying, like, joining the conversation. We've got lots of people that are part of the group at the moment that haven't even found us through, like, the... Um, like through the vlog they found us just through like facebook search now because we're getting quite a lot of members in there and it's starting to grow and like people are starting to connect with one another which is great like that's the whole reason that's the whole purpose for the group but look if you're part of that or if you're thinking about going on the, on a fast like it's easy from the outside to form an opinion or judge or like think of what you would do but when you're like a week in and you've had no food yes your mind messes with you yes you're going to start thinking other things but i promise you you will regret it if you stop like and you'll kick yourself like i promise you you'll kick yourself because you'll have that meal and then what like you do have that meal and then after that you're like you enjoy it for that for that moment of time but like but then what are you going to then start the process again are you going to start the process again in a week? Are you going to start the process again further down the line? Like, I personally just don't see the point of short fasts. I don't because you ultimately don't give yourself time to detox. You don't um, lose some of the cravings for the rubbish food. And then you just fall back into um, bad habits. And I don't want to see that for people. So I am not personally a fan of that. I like those long farts. Like I said, like... Anytime I would go anywhere near like a Krispy Kreme or something like that, the habit would be, oh, let's go grab a couple of those tonight for when we have our tea and watch, and watch TV. Like that was just a normal habit, habit. And yeah, I, of course I enjoyed the Krispy Kreme, but it was a habit. It's been a habit of mine for years. When you do a long fast, you, you lose that. So I'll walk past the Krispy Kreme, so I can chill in a Krispy Kreme shop all day and not have that want for it. Because I've done a long fast, if I did like a 7 or 14 days or like a little I don't know, under 20 days, I don't think I'd be feeling that. I think I'd be straight smashing through Krispy Kremes. So you just got to look at what you're trying to achieve. Um, but yeah, look, back to what I'm trying to say. I don't mean to ramble, but let's just all support one another. I've had a day where I've just ended up, you know, getting some work done. Um, actually, I've managed to do... Um, some you know some of them boring tasks for your business that you can't be bothered to do and you put it off and I've probably put them off for a long time I managed to get those things done today uh, unfortunately I didn't obviously get a workout uh, I've popped out to do a few bits but other than that nothing major it's been quite a quiet one but look guys please if you see someone or you feel someone going through that journey make sure you're supporting them um, all of the, you know, all of the followers and all the subscribers I've got, I just want to thank you like a million times. I'll never forget you. And I was just speaking to someone earlier that was um, said that they were like been a day one subscriber. And I know I'm pushing to get 10,000 subs. Whether I get 10,000 subs or 10 million subs, I'm never going to forget those day ones. And you guys are those day ones. So thank you. Um, please share. Um, please share so other people can subscribe and get to know me and we can grow together. But guys... I'm going to leave it here for now. Um, hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. And don't forget, let me know what kind of content you want and what more you want to see. Um, I think Wednesday's one will be pretty good, but you'll see that on Thursday. But yeah, let me know more of what you want to see, um, more of what you're liking, more of what we can do differently. And um, yeah, let's just continue to grow together. Let's continue to grow the channel. Let's continue to grow one another. And let's all continue to just lose that weight because that's exactly what this is about. So guys, thank you and good night and peace.